Hey, thanks for joining the Lace Up Tutorial Series. Today we're going to cover how to do route delivery using Android and QuickBooks. Specifically, we're going to cover how to create a sales order in your back office and send it down to a driver so it can be printed and delivered in the field. The very first step is creating the sales order in the back office. To do so, you're going to go to Process Orders in the Lace Up Order Server located here. To begin creating your order, you click Create. I'm going to create an order for Bob's store. When I click Create, the system will automatically generate a pre-generated order template. This order template will contain everything that that customer normally orders from me. To begin creating an order, you simply click on the quantity field for the product you want to add input a quantity and hit the return key. If you look, I'm going to add five of each of these items. From here, I'm going to save and close. If you look, I've created an order with invoice number 949 for a total of $1,160 with 84 cents. Now to assign this order to delivery driver, I'm going to highlight the order and then I'm going to click send orders. This send orders button will disappear the order from the process order screen and shoot it over to the delivery screen. To officially assign this order to a driver I'm going to select the driver on the left hand side, select the order and click the upwards arrow. This will ensure that when the driver sinks in the morning his handheld will automatically download this order. On the handheld side, to download the order, the driver will simply open the Laceup application located here. He will then go to Menu and Sync Data from Server, at which point the system will go to the server, grab his load, and grab his sales order. To begin his day, the driver will accept his load and hit the back arrow. As soon as he hits the back arrow, he will be placed in his routing screen. If you look, there is one stop today for Bob's store. The driver will then click on Bob's store, click on the three dots, and click on deliver. The system will then prompt the driver if he wants to clock in at which point the driver will tap yes. The moment I tap yes, I will be placed in a screen that shows me the order, the order number, and the amount. To deliver the order, the first step will be to print the pick sheet. The pick sheet is the practice order or a pre-order. It's what you give the receiver so they can verify that what you're delivering is indeed correct. Once the pick sheet has been confirmed to be correct, the driver will finalize his ticket. The first step will be to collect the signature from the receiver. The second step, if it is a cash account, would be to collect the payment. Lastly, the driver will print the invoice. When complete, the driver will tap Done, at which point the invoice will show Finalized. The final step will be that the driver clocks out of the stop, and the application will place the driver back on his route screen. When the driver is completed with his route, he's going to tap on the three dots and tap on End of Day Close. There are three steps in the End of Day Close section. Step one is the route returns. Route returns are anything coming off the truck back to the warehouse. Included in route returns are damaged items, dumped items, or items simply refused by the customer. In this case, I have no route returns. 
The second step will be to print my end of day reports. The end of day reports will show exactly what I delivered, what the dollar amount was, what payments were received, and what my inventory should look like. Once those reports have been reconciled, the driver will go ahead and click end of day. The end of day button is going to package all the orders and send them to the back office to be exported to QuickBooks. If you look, the order has gone from the handheld here to the lace up order server software. If I click export orders, you will now see the order ready to be exported. To export the order to QuickBooks, you simply click it and click export. There is my invoice number. So if you look, the invoice is now gone from QuickBooks or from LaceUp, better said, to QuickBooks. To find the invoice in QuickBooks, you simply go Edit, Find, and you go Invoice Number 949. There is the invoice. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Please make sure to subscribe for more tutorials that we'll be making in the future. Also, make sure to check out our website at www.laceupsolutions.com. The link is in the description. I'll see you next time.